Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be performing live with a live audience, with an online audience, but just to be performing in the same room at the same time. And thanks to all of you, thanks to Midtown Concerts, thanks to the Gotham early music scene for helping to put all this together. Mozart, Mozart loved the Basset horn. He wrote many, many pieces that included the Basset horn. There was sort of a burst of Basset horn music in the middle of his life while he was in Vienna. Some of the great players had come to town. But he also used it in his some of his operas. The clarinet players would set down their clarinets and pick up their basset horns for a few numbers. And he also put it in his requiem, uh, the last piece. And that piece, in a way, turned out to be the requiem for the, the basset horn. In fact, after that piece, Mendelssohn wrote a few pieces. Uh, Richard Strauss included in it a little bit. Karl Heinz Stockhausen also had some very prominent basset horn pieces, but otherwise, you just don't see them around anymore. An upstart from France, the alto clarinet, took over in the concert band. The instruments that Nina and I had, these basset horns, they're really just long clarinets. They have a bend here to make it easier to hold, though they look a little awkward, and sometimes they are. And uh, they have a very wonderful sound. <laughs> sound. And George Bernard Shaw, the playwright, when he served as a music critic, he would change his name to Corno di Bessetto. But that, unfortunately, did not bring back the popularity of the Basset horn. So we're going to switch to Beethoven now. I'm going to unhook from my poor, ignored Basset horn, in many people's mind, and switch to my short, straight soprano basset horn that is otherwise known as the clarinet. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
You don't get to hear basset horns and old clarinets very often. Thanks very much to Nina, Stephanie, and Ed. I'm Gene Morrow, Executive Director of Gotham Really Music Scene, and again, we welcome you. I'd like to thank our uh, <laughs> supporters. These uh, concerts are made possible by a very generous grant from the Howard Gilman Foundation and continuing support from the New York State Council on the Arts the Department of Cultural Affairs, and all of you. So thank you very much. Uh, next week, there is no concert. It's Yom Kippur. So it, we will see you in two weeks. We have a wonderful program planned. We'll do the same thing. We'll have live audience. We'll have our worldwide broadcast. So thanks again, and we will see you next Thursday. Thank you.